you know, Halloween 1978 is over 40 years old. And to this day, it is still one of the greatest horror movies ever crafted. The original Halloween gave us so much in that it gave us Michael Myers, one of the greatest killers in horror history. It gave us Laurie Strode, one of the best fi final girls in horror history. And it launched the career of one of the greatest horror directors, horror storytellers in history in John Carpenter. Now, before there were sequels galore and they made Myers uh, Laurie's brother and all that shit. It was just about a man who was crazy, who was psychotic, who was a sociopath, who was just pure evil, escapes from a mental asylum, and just goes on a rampage. And that's what makes Michael Myers such a great villain, originally, in that he wasn't a monster. He wasn't supernatural of any kind. He wasn't a zombie. He was just pure evil. And the sequels really lost track of that because he became sort of the supernatural being who just could not be killed. That's kind of why I'm glad that with the new Halloween, Halloween Ends, Halloween Kills, they ignore Halloween 2 and further because we don't really need those. Halloween originally is the class is a Halloween classic to end all classics. It's a horror classic to end all classics. But that's the problem with horror movies is that they're so cheap to make in so that they make so much money. They make back their budget tenfold a lot of the time. So the studio goes, oh hang on, we want more. But sometimes the first movie is just so perfect it should be left alone. And Halloween is a perfect example of that. Jamie Lee Curtis is amazing in this movie. It launched her career as one of the original Scream Queens, but also just launched her career in general. And to this day, she is still going strong, especially now that she's back in the Halloween franchise, mainly because we ignore all the sequels that have nothing to do with her, except for the fact where they have Laurie's daughter, which makes absolutely no sense. But this isn't about the sequel, this is about the original. You know, the story itself, the kills, the acting, the directing, the cinematography. Halloween is perfection. And while it's not really the original slasher, a lot of people consider the Texas Chainsaw Massacre as the OG slasher. It really brought the slasher flick into the light. Because after that, you know, we got Jason Voorhees, we got Freddy Krueger, and we just got so many one-off slasher flicks and other random ones that got sequels like Sleepaway Camp. But we also got Basket Case and Chopping Mall. Halloween paved the way for the popularity of the slasher flick. So we have Halloween both to thanks and to hate for it because the slasher flick, it's a classic. It's classic, but we also got a whole lot of shitty movies out of it. At the end of the day, Halloween 1978, the O. G Halloween movie it's perfect it cannot be replicated it cannot be improved upon nothing can surpass it from the story to the filmmaking to the acting to the kills to the score by John Carpenter that theme song is there any other theme song more legendary than Halloween no absolutely not so I suppose you could argue about it, but you're not going to convince me otherwise. I give Halloween 1978 in this debut episode of Minute Reviews Retro an A+. Did you enjoy the review? Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to get notified when more reviews go live. Feel free to leave a comment to discuss your thoughts on the movie or show, and I will see you next time.